Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time, praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in the side of the Christ, the side of the Messiah, Messiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God the higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Messiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12th scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora i greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming king Yeshua the christ and to the beautiful body of christ the church whom our great king is coming back for without spot wrinkle or blemish i greet you all in his glorious name Yeshua the christ all right you can skip this bit and find the main message i am going to do some housekeeping Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's pride there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher glory be to the most. Uh, thank you for liking the videos, for watching the video, sharing it as well. Going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters. And, um subscribing to the channel and thank you for those of you who have blessed me through paypal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button thank you so very much my beloved brothers and sisters i appreciate it from the depths of my heart thank you all right we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful glorious messiah yes the christ but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty antichrist yes brothers and sisters daniel chapter um uh, 7 verse 25 is clear satan through the antichrist is going to seek to change times laws and season it is going to be given to him in his hands and the world will become lawless some people say it's going to be new world order um beast system but the biblical term the biblical term is lawlessness so that is upon us you must pray to be found worthy to escape this lawlessness <laughs> you don't want to be here i believe that the escape Yesiah is talking about is the woman in revelation 12 um, Yesiah says, pray to be found worthy to escape. Woman in Revelation 12 with the 12 stars on her head represents the 12 Hebrew Yashahelite tribe, the seed of Jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery and currently 400 years of slavery is almost up. That is the tribe. That is the tribe of Jacob. All right. And um, Ahia is going to regather that remnant that's scattered and dispersed all over the world in 2023. All right. Um, um, and the woman, the same woman fleeing into the wilderness, the fleeing represents a great worldwide second exodus, just like Moses exodus when Moses fled from Egypt. He didn't just cozily walk out. No, he fled. Why? Because you know that Pharaoh and his army are going to come after him because that is how Satan is. He's a dirty, wicked lie. You cannot trust him. All right. Um, and so the woman has to flee. So it's going to be a quick thing. All right. And then after the second exodus, then Yesiah comes in the clouds of glory. That is a sixth seal opening up. Prophetic theme song called We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with red confidence. All right, two ministries. I've got one for the end time prophetic and one for the Hebrew Yeshaelites, and it's in, it's a, it's for the Hebrew Yeshaelites. All right, um, so I drop it right in between the Hebrews and the end time prophetic. Um, I'm continuing. Um, my, what, what should I call it now? My, should I call it series? All right. My series about the great worldwide second exodus because it's upon us. It's not far. And yeah, I'll talk about that in another video, um, concerning a possible date for the second exodus, a possible, I'm saying possible, but I'll discuss that in another video, something that the most star has shown me, and I want to share it with the body of Christ, because I really and truly don't want to, you know, have all these information and don't share it, so um, uh, when I do another video, I'll talk about a possible date, all right, okay, so, so I want to talk about the angels going into the prisons, 
for the Hebrew Yeshayalites. I've just done a video concerning angels going into the ghettos, <laughs> right? To go get them, to go get the Hebrews, the Yeshayalites scattered all over the ghettos, all over the world. So I want to talk about the Hebrew Yeshayalites that scattered all over the world in prisons. You don't know, brothers and sisters, you don't know why the wicked created prisons. Yeah. And let us not, you know, look, look, which, which, which nation is most highly in prison? Black, black men and black women. So, so we know that prison were created for our Hebrew, yes, like brothers and sisters, but the dirty devil is a lie, right? So, nobody will be, um, when I say, Every Hebrew Yeshahelites will be given an opportunity to go in the wilderness. Second Exodus, all of them. But the problem is some of them are going to refuse because they love Babylon. <laughs> they love Babylon and because some of them married outside of their races. And when the angel of the Most High said, listen, that one can't come. They're going to choose to stay. It's going to be so sad, but it's their choice. But anyways, brothers and sisters, this video is about prison. And one of the questions that I get is like, all right, we understand that the angels, you know, they can go into churches. They're going to come to our homes. They're going to go into supermarkets and get But You have to think outside the box that some people are incapacitated, like in the hospitals. And some people are in incarcerated, like in the prison and some people are scared and can't get out like in the ghettos so ahaya is going to send angels into the prison i briefly mentioned the other day when i talk about the angels in the prison i said that right now in 2023 as we speak as I'm doing this video, there are angels all over the world in prison, in authority. Are you listening to what I'm saying? They're, they're like prison guards or prison managers or somebody like that. But they're already positioned. Hallelujah to the lamb that was slain. Oh, Father God. But it's just that they look human, they act human. You can't tell because they're not going to give away their identity. It's not time. But let me tell you something. When that second exodus begins to roll, when it's time to leave Babylon and all over the world where the children of Yeshahel, the children of Jacob has been scattered, them angels are going to do their jobs. One of the things that the Lord placed on my spirit as I was um, thinking about the prisoners um, and the second exodus the Lord placed in my spirit and I saw in the realm of the spirit because you've got to understand that though there are angels that's positioned as prison officers, prison guard, you know, in authority in these prisons all over the world. You've got to understand that the wicked is working alongside them. So not all of the prison officers are angels. No. Some of them are the children of Satan, the seed of the serpent. So everybody mix up together. Angel and the seed of the serpent mix up, mix up together. Working together, right? But the seed of the serpent don't know that these people are angels. They just think that they're just normal human beings having work in their jobs. And one of the things that Haya placed in my spirit concerning this... How can I put it? Prison break, so to speak. They're not escaping from the den or right? the jailhouse sort of thing like. One of the things Ahaya showed me in my spirit is that those people, this, how can I put it now? All right. The seed of the serpent that's working in the prison, Ahaya is going to put them to sleep because there's... <laughs> If you imagine now the angel going up into the prison and saying to the prisoners, um, yeah, let's go. The seed of the serpents are going to stop them. It's like, you can't do it. And they're going to call authorities. They're going to get this and try to stop it. And one, heap of one whole heap of confusion. 
So a higher is going to put those um, prison workers to sleep. It's not going to kill them. But that's what I see in my spirit. Because some of these prison workers, they're not going in the second exodus. Like, they're not. Unless they're, you know, the Hebrews themselves. Well, the human Hebrews themselves. They're not angels, but the Hebrew Yashahelites. And so the angel can turn around to them and said, look, you're Hebrew, Yashahelite, second exodus, you're coming. All right. But if they're not a part of the second exodus, then they will be going to, the highest going to put, the angel is going to put them to sleep. Telling you, brothers and sisters, the whole, if you imagine, I've never been to a prison, thank you, Lord. But if you imagine a prison, that's what I watch on TV and stuff like that. Um... And you know how big these places are. These are huge things, right? So you imagine prison, you have security guard who are not Hebrew, right? They're not Hebrew. They're not of the tribe. They're, they're, they're different. So you have, um, you have prison officers, okay? You have prison officers. Um, what's the word I want to use? Up there, scoping up the place. With the binoculars or whatever they have all right um and then you have you know prison officers at the door or police you know whatever so those people who would try to stop the second exodus of the prisoners leaving the prison a high is going to put them to sleep but then i want to read something to you this is acts chapter 12 Verses 5 to 11. I don't know if I'm going to read all of it. But let me just, just listen to this. Because this is important. Because I know some of you are worried. Because you've got. Um, you've got family members. You've got Hebrew. Yeshahelite family members. In prison. And you are. And friends as well. And you are well versatile. In the second exodus. You don't know. You already know. Angels are coming for you. You, you know that. And you're thinking. Okay what about my son. That's in prison. What about my husband? You know? A hire that's I'm doing this video. It's, a, it's like a comfort video. Don't worry about that. Angels are going to take full control. Angels, they're already there. Prison break is about to happen. It's on the horizon, brothers and sisters. But let me let me read the scripture and then i'll tell you what's what the lord show me after i put these people to sleep so that the hebrew yeshahelites can break out of prison let me read the scripture because something came in my spirit all right watch this peter therefore was kept in prison we know why peter was kept in prison right because they were preaching the word of ahia but the priors was made without ceasing of the church unto ahia for him and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Are you listening, brothers and sisters? There is nothing new under the sun. Do not worry about your family members and the second exodus. Your family that is in prison. Don't worry about them. Angels, angels, angels are going to take care of the situation. That's why you cannot have the second exodus without angels. Like if anybody's teaching you about the second exodus and they're not talking about angels, it is not the second exodus. Simple as it's literally not the second exodus. I don't know what it is, but it's not the second exodus. And you need to stay clear or you need to go in the comment section and um correct them by using the woman in revelation 12 you need the angels can't do it do it without him and if they said oh well the dirty government the dirty caesars is going to give us a free pass you cannot trust the caesars because the second exodus has nothing to do with the dirty caesars because they're the same one that's going to make a treaty and said oh i'll go and they're going to turn around and try to bring us back into babylon so satan will not get the credit because he already went into africa desecrated our people sold us into slavery and then he's going to send us back devil is going to send us back i don't think so wake up this has nothing to do with the caesars this is by the hand of a higher using his angels but watch this where am i 
And Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison. Are you listening, brothers and sisters? I urge you, go and study. Go and read Acts chapter 12, verses 5 to 11. Listen, if you have, when next time you go to the prison, right? It's just, it's just because I don't do prison ministry. I would love to do prison ministry because my prison ministry will solely be about the second exodus, giving those people a bit of hope that not all is lost. All right. That would be my ministry, but make the Lord work. I don't know how he's going to do it for me but anyways but next time you go visit your loved ones in prison please if they have a bible tell them about the second exodus they may laugh because some of them don't understand tell them about the second exodus and tell them about acts chapter 12 verse 5 to 11 tell them to read it it's for them nothing new underneath the sun watch this and the key person not only had two soldiers this is what I was saying to you, brothers and sisters. Although you have angels right now operating in the prison system, but you have the seed of the serpent all over severe, 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 can I pronounce the word? Surveillance in the thing. Serve all over the prison. You have the people who don't belong to the seed of Yashahel surveillance in. But like I said, Ahaya is going to put those people to sleep. Well, watch this. And the keepers before the door. So Peter was, <laughs> yeah, two soldiers sleeping beside him. And then a keeper at the door. So you see, oh, Yashahel is surrounded. You see that? Satan don't want this prison break, but it's going to happen. I'm sure there was a movie called Prison Break. Wasn't there? I'm sure there was a movie called Prison Break. Was it? Or am I dreaming? I'm sure there was a movie called Prison Break. But anyways, brothers and sisters. Um, and behold, watch this. And behold, the angel of Ahaya, come on, oh church, came upon him. And the light shined in the prison. <laughs> Jesus, Father God. Ahaya, please let your people... Please let the Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered all over the world understand what I'm saying. Brothers and sisters, because we are so used to the Eurocentric Christianity, Jesus is coming any day, any minute now. We cannot believe this. It's like, no, but Jesus is coming. Yes, Yeshia is coming. Of course he's coming. The, the Bible tells us it is the sixth seal. But there are certain things that happen before he comes. And the prison break is one of them. I said prison break. Let's call it prison break, yeah? The prison break <laughs> is one of them. Ahaya is going to release the Hebrew Yeshalet. Ahaya is going to release the Hebrew Yashahelites that's been incar incarcerated in prison. You might say, oh, is this a carry? What about those wicked Hebrews who murder and rape and kill? That's between Ahaya and them. Though that's between him and them people, our people, right? Because if, 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 he's, if they've asked for forgiveness and all of that, then the forgiveness is forgiveness, isn't it? But that's between the most high and the individuals. I'm not going down that road. I don't know some people are going to ask, but the, the, the murderers, the wicked, why would Ahaya take them out? Why wouldn't he not? Still his people. And behold, the angel of the Lord, Ahaya, came upon Peter. And a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. Come on, O church. Everything, this, listen, this second exodus is going to be a speedy one. You think you're going to be dragging your feet and, no, because the dragon is on our tail. 
So the sec that's why the woman flee. What does the word fleeing mean? Fleeing means danger. It means to run, to quickly get out. Angel didn't just take his time and have a little chat with Peter and stood there Kimba, you know, hands at his side, laughing with Peter. No, he said, quickly, come on, Peter, quick, 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 quick. This is where we are at. You have to wake up, church. This is, I'm telling you what's going to happen in the prisons with the Hebrew and the second exodus. Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. Powerful, isn't it? Chain fell off his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind up thy sandal. Put on your shoes. Put on your sandals, Peter. And so Peter did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Hallelujah! Glory be to the most. Uh, listen, brothers and sisters, don't worry about your family members. They're good. They are good. The ones in prison. You just need probably when you visit them next time. I don't know if they have YouTube in prison. I don't know how it works over there. I don't, I don't know. But you need to show them this video. Honestly, like, or if they, if they don't have access, let them talk to them and let them read Acts chapter 11. Acts chapter, Acts chapter 12, verses 5 to 11. This is serious. This is exciting. Prison Break. Like I say, I think they had a movie called Prison Break. I think I used to watch it, but I didn't understand it. I just did not. I couldn't get it. That was years. That was way before Ahaya woke me up, I believe. Uh, if you ask me what happened, I don't know. But I just saw the title, Prison Break, all right? Um, and, um, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyways, brothers and sisters, who watch this? And the key. And behold, the angel of Ahia came upon him and smote him. And um, chains fell off. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, bind up thy sandals, put on your shoes. And so Peter did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, put on your clothes, Peter, and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought it was a but he thought it was a vision. And when they when they were passed for the first and second ward, watch this. This is what I want to talk to you about after COVID, because this is what the Lord showed me even before I began to read this. <clears throat> and when they were passed the first and the second ward. They came unto the iron gate that leadeth into the city, which opened to them of its own accord. There's going to be some spiritual stuff going on. People, I, these angels are just going to be so marvelous. They're going to be magnificent. Oh, mighty God of creation. I love you, Ahaya. Thank you for the second exodus. Because, I, honestly, Father, I could not be here underneath the Antichrist rule. Honestly, Father. So, I glorify you for the second exodus. Really, really do. But watch this, brothers and sisters. Um, Where was I? I'm about to finish now. Yeah, first and second word. So, they went into the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and passed on through this one street. And for with the angel departed from, from him. <clears throat> well, angels are not going to depart because they're going to bring us straight to the boats, right? Because they need to be at the boats guarding because if not, the Gentiles will try to come on the boat and it ain't going to happen. Watch this. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that Ahia has sent his angel because he thought it was a vision. <laughs> he couldn't believe. Imagine you're in prison and yet... All of a sudden, you know, gates opening, everything is opening that was in lock and key and code. And you have to have pin number. And for you to get up, you've got a face recognition and, and everything just begin to open. And then Peter said, I know for surety that Ahaya has sent his angel. That's what the prisoners are going to say, your, your loved ones. Brothers and sisters that's bound up in Babylon prison. That's exactly like when, they, when they come on the boat, when they come on the ships. And I begin to talk and said, mighty God, I was in prison. These angels came. It was just, they're going to tell the story. Marvelous. And I know for surety that Ahaya has sent his angel. 
and he has delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. All right. So what time is it? And I'm about to finish up now. So what I wanted to say to you, brothers and sisters, so I showed me that the prisoners, the prison officers, some of them who are not of the descendant who will not be going on a on the cruise liner for the second exodus a high is going to put them to sleep but it's only for a short time that's why it's got to be quick because they're going to wake up and when they wake up it's like just think about more just think about pharaoh think about pharaoh and what happened with pharaoh pharaoh said go go on take them take the hebrews go about your business but then he changed his mind so when these prison office officers especially those in authority wake up our foreign let's say babylon us yeah let's let's use babylon us because it's a good one to use <laughs> baby over there in babylon us all right and all of you know what they like over there because they have all sort of surveillance and this and that and when they walk wake up and find out that the prisoners of some of them not all of them because some of them some prisoners will still be left behind because they're not of the seed of yeshahel and plus they're not born again child of the most high so these prisoners that's left behind um you know i don't know what's gonna happen if they they two are gonna go to sleep or they're gonna see what's happening i don't know because i think that if they're seeing what's happening they're gonna want to leave like man what about me can i come and if angel says no it's gonna be like but you can't just stay you understand what i'm saying so maybe these prisoners who are not of the second exodus will be go will be put to sleep So I do believe what the Lord showed me in my spirit. That's why when the angels go into this prison, it's got to be quick. Because these prison officers, these people in authorities are going to wake up. And when they wake up and they look and find that the prison break, you think they're just going to bite the fingernail? No! They're going to set the alarm. Soldiers, police, everybody's going to be on the tail of the Hebrews. Ha <laughs> ha! This is serious stuff. This is what the Lord showed me, my spirit brothers and sisters. So just don't think that because the angels went and get them out of prison, you know, it's just a walk in the park. Oh, yes. No, it's got to be quick. Everything is going to be worse. Come, you need to get on the boat. So because when you reach to the ship, you are safe. Because there'll be warrior angels protecting us. So when, like I said, no repeating myself, when these prison officers wake up, they're going to come after the prisoners that escape. They will. They will. They will. Because they, they, they don't know what happened. So they're going to sound the alarm all over Babylon. Or if in the Babylon, UK, same thing. Sound the alarm. Prison break. Prison break. Same thing in Jamaica. Prison break. Everybody. Caribbean. Brazil, you know. Barbados. St. Lucia. St. Martins. Turks and Caicos. St. Vincent. Everywhere. St. Martin. Bahamas, all over the Caribbean where there's prison, all over Africa where there's prison because the prison break happens at the same time because if it doesn't happen at the same time it's like they're going to try, what's that big massive bird doing the thing um, if the prison break don't happen at the same time because if one prison break happened they're going to say oh, you know, people are ganging up so they're going to try to have the security tied, but they can't do it anyways but this prison break for the second exodus to get the Hebrew Yeshahelites on the ship is going to happen all over the world at the same time. Everybody. All over the world at the same time, this prison break. So this is, to me, this is really, really exciting. And that's why I wanted to come and just talk about this in, in details. Because the Lord been speaking to my spirit and he wants me to talk about topics, just one topic at a time where the second exodus is concerned. So like I say, I've just talked about the ghetto, just the ghetto and the angels. And now it's a prison and the angels. All right. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a massive prison break all over the world. Hallelujah to the Lamb. All right. So uh, Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Isaiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.